What's going on, guys? Uh, so it's been three months uh, with these Origin boots, and I just wanted to give an update and a uh, review, sort of, on these boots. Um, so I still like them. However, I'm running into issues wearing them all day because it mainly comes down to how much standing versus walking I'm doing. Um, I've kind of run into the issue where these being as squishy as they are on the inside with the foam insole and the foam removable insole. So basically just two layers of thick foam on top of each other. Um, they're kind of hurting my feet if I'm not constantly moving. Um, I've also, as you can see, I've worn both these pairs a decent bit. Even though those are too small, I found that with a three-quarter insole, I can kind of wear them. Uh, so that's what I've done. Um, but still kind of the same issue with those as well. But if you're unaware, these have foam removable inserts, which are honestly decent inserts uh, for the thickness and the quality. Um that they offer but then underneath that you also have another layer of foam down in there that's very squishy now i've tried different insoles with these boots um i couldn't find a pair of insoles that made it better um i think if i could have fit my uh power step insoles in i think those would have probably done okay because i do really like those insoles but the problem is, is there, these boots are a little too narrow through the heel and midsection for that insole. Um, so they don't actually sit in there flat. But if you like the feeling of a tennis shoe on your foot, you'd probably really like these boots. Um, especially the regular Coronados because they're not as heavy as these are. Um... These are on the heavier side, I'd say, for, for a six-inch boot, but they're not too, too bad. But they do kind of mess with my stride a little bit when walking. Um, just I guess mainly just from the weight of the toe, maybe. I'm not exactly sure. And it also, I think, has to do with how wide and kind of clown shoey the front is. Um, otherwise, I mean, they've held up great so far. I've got no no issues with the toe coming unglued or anything like that. Um, these X red X Vibram soles, uh, are honestly pretty good. They're, um, fairly slip resistant. They're definitely better than the, uh, Christie's in terms of slip resistance. Um, and they also are very squishy as well. So you get a lot of squish with this boot. And another thing I didn't, I don't believe I touched on in the last video because I hadn't really worn them enough, but these boots are extremely flexible in the toe. Um, like that's like barefoot levels of flexible and I can do this and stand on my toes like this with basically no pain. Um, even with the safety toe that's in there, um, cause the leather is so soft, it doesn't really pinch you. So that is kind of nice, especially since I'm a, a automotive mechanic, you know, getting down on the ground to set lifts all day on cars to lift them up. Uh, I tend to do that a lot. So that's been nice, but it just comes down to, at the end of the day, if I'm standing there or leaning over a car for most of the day, my feet kind of do hurt. Now, I've been swapping these boots in and out with my other pair of work boots here that I started using. These are my White's Perry Select. Um, and with the fact that this has a leather insole and then also these fit the power step can't see it in there but the uh, power step pinnacle insoles you can kind of see the blue um there's a lot of support that those offer um they're a little bit more expensive than these but not by much um those i've been liking and they do not hurt my feet and they don't mess with my stride at all but of course they do also run the christies so less slip resistance um but otherwise, I mean, like I said, if you like a tennis shoe feeling and you like flexibility and 
you don't mind the kind of awkwardness that these come with. I mean, if you're used to wearing safety toe boots, you're probably used to the feeling I'm describing. Um, but again, they offer it without safety toe. Um, I did put a Kilty in it just because I had some extra ones. These are Rose Anvil. I don't actually recommend these Rose Anvil ones. They're paper thin and not very wide. Uh, if you get Kilties, I would go Dale's uh, Leatherworks, which is what these are. They're much thicker, actually thicker than both these factory tongues and much wider at the top so it actually protects from the speed hooks um but yeah the boots holding up fine um i just don't think they're quite right for me so i'll probably just wear them from uh every now and then maybe around the house for uh working on stuff but for work i think i'll switch these over to my uh primary boots but just want to give y'all a uh, little update and uh, my opinions on the Origin uh, work boot and sort of the Coronado. Basically, again, the same boot, just some slight upgrades in the work boot model. But, yeah, thanks for watching.